Hello everyone, and today is October 31st, 2019. Welcome back to Crucial Farms. It's uh, 71 degrees and it's actually kind of warm, windy, and chance of thunderstorms, and uh, Fox News even said it was a slight chance of tornadoes, I heard. So uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. I will be closing up the greenhouse tonight, well, later this afternoon before the storms start, but in anticipation of freezing temperatures, perhaps happening this weekend, and the first frost coming soon, I did a, well, I kind of just went out and picked what was left, so I thought I would share it with everyone. Uh, we have a few herbs and a few tomatoes, which is very surprising that there's a few still existing. Uh, they're very small and a few still haven't even changed. A uh, not fully pollinated correctly cucumber. Uh, but we have uh, our oregano, which is amazing. There's a ton more out there I'm gonna pick. Hopefully I'm gonna dry it and uh, grind it up, uh, as well as some purple basil and green basil, of course, two of our favorites. Uh, also the Thai basil, and it's so pretty and it smells so fragrant, I thought we might be able to keep it for a couple days. We actually have a Thai dish we made last night that I'm hoping we can uh, have leftovers tonight and maybe chiffonade a little bit of this and sprinkle it over the top. Uh, yeah, oh, bam. Hopefully it'll make that the screenshot. That'd be really cool. Anyway, of course, pepper time. Oh my gosh, we've got pepperoncinis or pepperoncinis, however you call them. We got habaneros, we got jalapenos, and we got red jalapenos, which uh, I tend to, the, the flavors actually are different, so let some go to red. We've got scotch bonnets down here. I got red ones, I got yellow ones. Well, that might be an orange one, but there is a difference. I've heard a couple people say they all look the same for those. So let's find it, hold on. There we go. So, especially if we put some habaneros here. So here's some habaneros, and here is one of the scotch bonnets that's orange. You can see eh, it's a little yellower, but then this guy is even more yellow than that. So orange scotch bonnet, yellow scotch bonnet, of course red scotch bonnets, and I said pepperoncinis, and also we have, they haven't turned red yet, but a few are starting to get color but I finally got my sepia serpents, which are supposed to be between 800,000 and 1 million scovels, which, woo-wee, that could be uh, a thing. <laughs> the habaneros are pretty, pretty hot anyway, as some of you already know. Uh, the greenhouse, the door, it's perfect. It works so well. Sorry about some wind. If we have some windage, hopefully you can hear me. I'm talking right behind it and trying to block the front some. Not sure exactly where the microphone is. But I put seal. I did a seal all the way around the inside of the door so when it closes, it's even more airtight. And I did the same thing on the back two windows back there. Uh, yep, other than that, the carrots and the lettuce in the greenhouse will be saved if a frost comes or it gets too cold. And I've got a, sm a very small hoop tunnel that I put over out here for the radishes and things. But if the freeze comes, the rest of the plants will be cyanar for the season. And that's just how it works. I'm so happy that I got them to go this long. Kind of crazy though. But hey, that's for another video. I will see you all real soon. I've got to get back to some cleaning up and getting things done, and I'm very sore from power washing the whole house yesterday. But uh, anyway, guys, I'll catch y'all real soon. Subscribe. All right. Bye-bye.